we place our dogs between a year and a half old and two, two and a half years old. Um, males take longer to physically mature and also, sorry guys, mentally mature. Uh, so females generally go sooner. Um, but first of all, they need to go through health screenings and be physically sound to perform the tasks that will be required of them. The second thing is we have warriors through our organization who apply um, through the university and then are matched based on personality. So since our dogs are trained over 90 different service commands, every single one of our dogs can turn on lights and open doors. We match not by skill, but by personality. So we have amiables, analyticals, drivers, and expressives. And believe it or not, we give our dogs personality types because we've known them since they were three days old. <laughs> so we know who's analytical and who's going to consider all the options before they make a decision. And we want that dog to go with a warrior who's analytical. So we don't want, we don't want a, a thinker, an analytical, going with a driver who's just going to jump off the cliff. Because that's not, for those of you who aren't married or have relationships, that's not a good relationship, is it? Or it can present some challenges, let's say. Um, and if we have a dog that's real expressive and outgoing, and we have a warrior who's very reserved, homebody, um, we want to match and make sure that, you know, if the dog is expressive and outgoing, that dog is able to be happy and live a happy lifestyle with its personality, going out and being social, and not secluded at home with somebody who's more of a homebody. So once we have made a match, a warrior is applied, a warrior is deemed eligible, what, what the warriors requesting the dogs are able to do are realistic. You know, they're not, you know, there are things that medically they need to have his requirements. Um, and then the warrior comes out to California and goes through a two-week client training boot camp where they learn essentially how to be handlers of the dogs. So they learn how to give those 90 different service dog commands and have the dog be responsive. Can you also address the breeding, the temperament? Yeah, quickly. Um, we breed our dogs to be low aroused, so as you can see, it's funny. Everyone has a moment. They roll around on their backs. They chase balls. They have fun. But generally speaking, does anybody have a pet in the room that would act this way at the Walter Reed Museum? No, probably not. We breed them to be this way. This isn't something you can train in, this low arousal. The skills we train, but the temperament behind it, we very selectively breed for. Okay? Because when the car backfires and the metro comes roaring up and the party, you know, the concert and the party, we need dogs who are just going to take it with a grain of salt and go, you know what, whatever. You want me to get on that bus? Sure. You want me to get on that plane? Sure. You want me to get in that elevator with a million different people? All right. 